हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू दिस न्यू वीडियो सो इन द प्रीवियस वीडियोज वी हैव डिस्कस्ड विद वन इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक रिलेटेड टू चार्ज डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन राइट सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी विद वन फाइनल टॉपिक ऑफ मॉड्यूल वन दैट इज रिलेटेड टू इलेक्ट्रिक फ्लक्स एंड इलेक्ट्रिक फ्लक्स डेंसिटी ओके दिस इज वन वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट कॉन्सेप्ट वेर वी आर गोइंग टू हैव वन सर्टेन सेट ऑफ डेफिनेशन रूल्स एंड प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ all of all these things and we are going to see with uh, one simple uh, relationship where uh, which is related to flux and flux density and we are going to solve few of the uh, discuss few of the problems in this video okay so stay tuned before watching this video please like this video okay your like is very very important to us it would be motivating us a lot also subscribe to our channel if you are new to this video and uh, share this videos with your with the huge number with your friends neighbors relatives anyway anywhere who are studying this subject okay under vtu so let us get to the video now first let us see about electric flux okay the number of lines of force due to a charge equal to magnitude of charge in coulombs these field lines are called as electric flux okay the field lines where the lines of force are equal to the charge equal to the magnitude of charge in coulombs are called as electric flux so let us see some of the properties of this electric flux right now the properties of electric flux include they are independent of medium and magnitude of electric flux is equal to the magnitude of charge in which it originates okay if uh, that uh, this relation is there right magnitude of electric flux is equal to the magnitude of charge Uh, from which it originates that is uh, equivalently called as gauss law okay this gauss law we are going to see in the second module okay where we are going to see the relationship between the electric flux and charge uh, which is uh, very very important and it is given by phi is equal to q okay where in detail they have discussed how this phi is equal to q okay so this is one property where it which is equivalent to the gauss law which we are going to study in the module 2 okay so this was about the second property next is if a point charge is enclosed in a sphere then the electric flux must pass perpendicularly to the surface of the sphere okay when it is enclosed in a sphere then the electric flux is passing through the sphere perpendicularly okay so this is about the third property next electric flux density that is efd is electric flux per unit area so this is the definition of electric flux density that i mentioned here it is electric flux per unit area okay so that's why i have told i have discussed first the electric flux part because if you know the electric flux part then only you could be writing the uh, relation for electric flux density okay it is given by d vector okay electric flux density is d vector is equal to electric flux is mentioned by this symbol here okay psi divided by per unit area that is a okay that is equal to psi divided by so if we consider the area of a sphere in this case in the circular uh, uh, circular region so that is equal to area of a sphere is 4 pi r square you could be taking for any uh, any uh, entity that is sphere rectangle cylinder anything okay for the if you take in terms of sphere that is 4 pi r square into ar vector coulombs per meter square per electric flux phi is given by the relation phi is equal to double integral of d dot ds okay where d is the flux density dot with in terms of surface area okay ds okay when ds is the differential surface in terms of meter square and this psi is the electric flux in terms of coulomb okay so this is a these are the some of the relations which you need to know now consider a concentric metal sphere as shown here okay concentric metal sphere you know the meaning of concentric circles right circles which have the same center but from that same center and we should be drawing the different radius uh, circles from the same center okay those circles are called as concentric circles okay so consider a concentric metal sphere here where we are have drawing two circles one above the other which has the different different uh, flux densities okay first the radius of r is a and here the radius of r is b which has different different charges for this first sphere the charge is plus q and for the second sphere the charge is minus q okay the flux density where uh, radius is equal to a is given by q divided by uh, the flux is uh, this is the value of electric flux okay here it is q divided by 4 pi r square the radius that is here in this case it is a so 4 pi a square into ar vector inner sphere and the flux density for the radius is b 
that is given by outer sphere that is uh, flux is uh, minus q divided by 4 pi b square this time the radius is b into the uh, unit vector ar for outer sphere okay now assume that the inner sphere is uh, tending a point tending to a point if it is tending to a point then the charge on the sphere appear as a point uh, appear to be as a point charge that is electric flux density at any point between a and b and then it is given by d is equal to q divided by 4 pi r square into a r vector okay mention it as equation 1 we know that electric flux density at any point due to a any point due to a point charge is given by one relation that is e is equal to q divided by 4 pi epsilon r square into a r vector okay so compare these two equations now if you compare these two equations there is one term which is common in these two uh, equations that is q by 4 pi r square a r vector is common right one term which is not common which is coming extra is epsilon so with this we get one relation here by equating these two equations we get it as d is equal to epsilon times e if we equate these two terms okay so this is one more relation which is very important in terms of uh, with respect to what is the relationship between electric flux density and electric field intensity okay it is uh, given by the relation d is equal to epsilon times e okay so this relation is uh, plays a very important role while solving some of the problems also that we are going to see it in the later stages okay yeah so this was the complete uh, introduction about the electric flux density part okay so we are uh, solving we are having few of the problems here uh, related to this uh, electric flux density and electric flux and all for uh, different different surfaces okay so that we are going to see in the next video okay so that's all for this video guys just just the introduction part i've uh, done it uh, in the next video i'm going to solve some i'm going to discuss some problems okay so after that uh, the module one i'm going to complete it and uh, module two three four five videos are already available in the playlist okay go and watch it so this module one actually i had re-uploaded it because uh, some of the concepts uh, where the explanation were pending in the previous videos i had already uploaded it so i had deleted it now i'm uh, doing it again these videos just to provide some of the very important and proper explanations okay so that's why already three videos are uh, updated okay now not three four videos are updated from module one please go and watch it it is available in this playlist only just before these videos okay so that's all guys we will see some problems in the next video like share subscribe to our channel keep supporting us thank you